So here I am, just chilling, getting back from my run, doing a mile, and then I come back and I see everyone pointing to the Japanese website of Shadow Generations with this of Shadow. And as you can see, he's still got the wings on this side, and then over here, coming soon. What is going on? <laughs> So you can see this on the Japanese website yourself, so you can switch it as well just to see that there's, there's two sides to it. So yeah, this is Shadow Side, and then this is Sonic Side, where you see Sonic and Classic Sonic. And then right here, you have Shadow, so obviously, it means... Um, it just, uh, it means we'll just be getting... <laughs> Another ver another character for Shadow's campaign. Now, it, it doesn't mean we'll get a, a classic Shadow. It did mean that. It, it won't happen again. It won't happen again. I never really understood where this topic of classic Shadow came from. I really don't get I understand. I understand maybe if people wanted, like, I don't know, like a chibi version of him or they just wanted him. I know a lot of people just wanted him to be playable in Superstars and I guess maybe Origins, I think? The, the, the main problem is, he was never designed that, like that. He's ne he was never designed to just be or exist within that continuity. It doesn't make sense, because he doesn't exist or just have that form for him to be present at that time. It doesn't really make sense for him to just have like a classic form of himself. And I have, I have brought it up before, if they are to just bring like a classic or bring a classic character or just like a character into like the classic Sonic era they should be focusing on like like those characters from that respective era because they've they, that's what they did with superstars is they focused on bringing Fang back and they even brought in a new character and maybe they'll bring uh, the chaotix in or at some point I don't know but there it's it's a barrier in which shadow it's a threshold that shadow doesn't necessarily have to be in just for the sake of uh, being like a big time character. He can have his own thing while other characters get their moment in that classic era. Here are some ideas just to go off of it. I, I have I had one that came to me for Metal Sonic. Because we have been getting a bit more Metal Sonic stuff because we just got him back with Sonic Colors Ultimate. But I, they really didn't do much with him aside from just being a unlockable match you can do once you get all the red rings and colors. And then he was also featured in what we saw with Alt with the animation, the animation of Rise of the Blist. So maybe he can have something to do with it because they, you know, we have that ha they had one interaction before, which was in Rivals 2, where both of them worked together. And even Metal even sacrificed himself to save Shadow at one instant. So maybe we could see them finally interact again after so many years. I, I feel, I, even though Trude, I, I'm not sure how to feel for the, the non-speed characters that aren't like action oriented, but I feel Rouge might have a better chance mainly because we just got her playable in Sonic Dream. So I feel that just ups her chances of being playable more. Now we have an actual play style go on how she would play in a modern style so we could see her potentially coming back because she's always she's also been there from the beginning with shadow because when shadow debuted she debuted as well and has pretty much been <laughs> the duo that's been around since forever but we keep they can finally do something with now i have a much crazier idea because this this, that, this i feel like would not happen but I, if they actually did this I feel like it would be incredible because there's one other character that is tied to Shadow's backstory, which is to tied to Gerald, and that was Emerald back in Sonic Battle. Cause this, I feel it's with Emerald because since he is able to just copy characters in the same way as Metal is, I feel he can be able to replicate that for the modern gameplay style for modern Sonic statements. As well as for, if you know his story, Gerald found him and gave and programmed him with the mind that would be that similar to Maria. Um, we know he um, he's connected to Shadow's story in a way, just for that connection with 
Gerald. Going back to it, if you go back to just check the uh, the title, the text here, it says Shadow travels to the Ark and finds himself reunited with an impossible being and nightmare and becomes involved with a major incident. So maybe it's hinting at what else is being found on the Ark. Because we already see that we're looking at a bunch of stuff that's up in on the Ark. Because we saw they have the Bio Lizard in there and they also have... Uh, I, they had like those chaos projects that Gerald was working on, so there might be more that we could see from Gerald's experiments. Because maybe we could actually see with Gerald working on Emerald as well at the time. Because I wanted, I'm curious to know if they could actually just bring him back in a modern setting. I think we could honestly see the answer for ourselves. Because right as I'm talking about this, <laughs> they read. The actual team retweets that you do not want to miss this prologue, as this is going to be premiering this Saturday at 3.30, um, at 12.30 Pacific Time. So, yeah, 3.30 Eastern Time, 12.30 Pacific Time. So, I we might be able to get the answers we're looking for with this on who could be the second playable character. So maybe we can see a new character finally. Maybe they can finally bring someone else back after so long. Or they could do something insane and just actually make classic shit.